Welcome to the final shave of 2023 here on the Soap Thing Project. Today is December 25th at the time this video is being released. So I want to wish every viewer and subscriber a very Merry Christmas. Hopefully you have something better to do with your time on this Christmas day than watch me. But if not, well, hey, I'm here for you. What are we doing today? Well, if you're going to do a Christmas Day shave, it may as well be a Christmas scent. So it's going to be Sterling Christmas Eve. It would have just been too easy to do a, a shave video on Christmas Eve, but it is normal for the Soap Thing Project that I do my Christmas video on Christmas Day, which is uh, not normally what other wet shaving YouTubers do, but that's what I do. So, we're going to talk about the uh, shaving soap during, during the shave, the scent, and, and all the other great stuff about it. It's a beef tallow soap base, a fairly good one if I'm being honest. $14.25 for 5.8 ounces. Still a bargain today, even with all the inflation we got going on. Smell it. Wow. Speaking of Christmas, uh, I have to show you, like, whenever I, I do a scent and I like it so much that I do that, whoa! Uh, let me show you exactly where that came from. There goes nothing, hot dog! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Alright, moving on. I just thought that was, that was funny and worth pointing out. Okay, Sterling Christmas Eve. And I have the matching aftershave splash. Uh, both of these are seasonal. So if they are still available, you might want to hurry up because I don't think they're going to be available to pick up much longer. The soap and the splash. I got this one with menthol because, and why not? It's a, it's a great scent. Uh, it smells a bit different than the soap. We'll talk about that during, during the shave, during the end of the shave. It's, a, it's not uncommon for that to be the case though. I'm going to do another shave with the Schick razor that you saw on the last shave. I think I referred to this as a Type J, possibly. Looking at it and doing more research, I, I'm thinking now that this is actually a Type L uh, Schick. I, I asked for a comment in the last video if people could, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but these videos are being filmed you know, back to back to back across, you know, a week and then being, you know, posted up, 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 all at once. <laughs> so I, uh, I haven't received a response on that yet, but now I'm sort of thinking that it's probably a type L, uh, which would make it uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1960s to the early 1980s. Who knows? Uh, and it does have a second use Ted Pella blade in it. And those are in an unmarked white case that look just like this. And let me see if I got a fresh one. The box actually looks something like that. And the brush, the brush, the brush, the brush. I am really proud of this one. This is from Shore Shave. So Bill over at Shore Shave is quite talented at making sterling colored brushes. And so if you want a brush to match your your green sterling soaps that stick out like a sore thumb, then definitely talk to Bill Reed because he will hook you up with one that is very close to the sterling color. I think he does it better than anybody else I've ever seen. This is a 22 millimeter brush with a uh, Maggard G5 synthetic. Yeah, pretty sure. Okay, let's get this together and let's do a shave. All right, folks, two days of growth on the face today. Plenty enough to do a shave. 
with some sterling soap and a Schick injector razor. Put that over there. Okay, let's activate the iPhone cheat sheet so I can talk about this scent. And here it is, the Sterling Christmas Eve lathered into the bottom of the Pereira Shavery Unbreakable Shaving Bowl. Let me smell this. This one, oh man, where do I want to peg this? I'm going to say this one's a three out of five on the sniffometer. I wanted to say four, but I don't, I don't think it quite rises to the level of a four, so let's just call it three. All right, let's put this, this glorious lather onto the face. Smells great though. Okay. Now, let's just get right into the talking about the scent. The uh, Chic Type L, probably, with uh, a second use Ted Pella Blade. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so the scent on this is pine, fir, evergreen, mistletoe, vanilla, cranberry, and seasonal spices is uh, how it's described uh, by Sterling. I am losing synthetic hairs lately from all sorts of brushes. Maybe I just need to tone down how uh, how aggressively I'm just shoving them into my face. <laughs> I, can't, I can't be super surprised then if hairs fall out. So what does this smell like? Well, it's a bit generic. It smells an awful lot like kind of a Yankee Candle sort of fragrance. Uh, to be fair to it, I, that's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a Christmas scent uh, that was so generic that it was almost cliche. Well, that's exactly what this is. Uh, I also wanted a, uh, a Christmas scent that was not like something gourmand, like Christmas cookies or eggnog. You know, things like that. Uh, that That's what I didn't want. And so this sort of fit the, uh, the soap that I had in mind. So this is actually fairly well blended. It's a, it's a, it's a combination of pine and fir and evergreen and, and mostly cranberry. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, um, sort of a, Fur balsamy, kind of evergreen, slightly dark fruity, tart cranberry sort of scent. Uh, I would say first and foremost, it is a woody scent. Definitely uh, pushing into uh, into the the side of fir balsam and pine, at least for the soap. The aftershave is a little bit different. We'll talk about that in a second. Vanilla, it says there's vanilla in here, but I don't get a ton of that. I think it's uh, just kind of a background note to sort of keep things in check. I would say first and foremost, this is fir balsam and evergreen, a little bit of pine, and uh, Cranberry is a super imposing note when you put it in a shaving soap. It always is. Uh, but having said that, it, uh, it is taking a back seat in this scent because of all the uh, really strong woody notes. Because 
fir balsam, pine, and evergreen are all really strong woody notes. So, as a result, the Christmas uh, kind of cranberry note is certainly noticeable, but it's not just like in your face, like crazy obvious. If you're looking for all the obvious notes, that's gonna be the uh, the pine and mostly the fir balsam. Mistletoe, I'm not super sure what mistletoe is supposed to smell like. And uh, I'm just being honest with you. And seasonal spices, well, that's really vague. Uh, so who knows what that is supposed to smell like. Because when I think of Christmas spices, I think of things like cinnamon and, and things like that. Well, it doesn't smell like that at all. But it's also not this really pungent, just sort of pine wood baseball bat to the face. It's not that either. There is enough nuance to this that uh, it's a little bit restrained as a scent. It's not completely restrained, but it is a little restrained so that you're not just getting blasted by harsh piney type notes. Okay, let's do right back here. There's always a place that has to have a lot of blade buffing. And there's right back here need it? Yeah, a little bit. It's a good scent though. Uh, again, if you're looking for something that is uh, not gourmand, but also not remarkably unique, I thought I saw a, a Nick, th then this is, this is your scent. Uh, if you want just a fairly basic uh, Christmas time scent just to check a box, then uh, that is exactly what this is. And that does not have to be a bad thing. I'm not doing a very good job of selling it. But you know how shaving soap artisans are. Some of them put out these just wacky Christmas scents that, you know, have Santa looking like a thug. And it's got like these boozy notes and, and some other crazy stuff going on or it'll straight up smell like coal <laughs> uh, this is the scent that you you would buy if you're just like I'm not trying to play those kind of games like I'm not I'm not I'm not about those games so so yeah that's kind of where I would peg this particular scent speaking of Christmas what is your favorite Christmas movie go ahead and put it in the comment section of the video while we do this aftershave, Sterling Christmas Eve. Mine's gotta be Home Alone, just uh, hands down. Home Alone is uh, the uh, the best Christmas movie I think I've ever seen as far as like leaving lasting memories on me. So this is less woody, more vanilla, more cranberry. Uh, yeah, it is um, more evergreen heavy. So I think what you're losing is the pine and the fir balsam when you go from the soap to the aftershave. 
and uh, everything else that was kind of being buried in the soap is coming up in the aftershave. Yeah, yeah, definitely good stuff. But yeah, Home Alone is a uh, is a classic. That one you just can't can't beat it. And if you say Die Hard or Lethal Weapon, well, you know what? I'll take it because yes, those are Christmas movies, whether you think so or not. Okay. Let's do my final thoughts on Sterling Christmas Eve. Could I recommend this for a purchase? Oh yeah, uh, th this is good to go. I would say, however, though, if you already have like uh, one or two like Christmas themed shaving soaps, then I would say uh, you're probably not gonna be impressed by this. Uh, so I would say go ahead and pass on it if you've already got a robust uh, selection of Christmas scents anyway. But if you don't, and you just want a Christmas scent too, like I said, check a box, then uh, this is a good one. This is a very good one. I uh, have been enjoying using this one. I've been using it a lot, lot wow. I've been enjoying this a lot off camera. So it, uh, it's, it's definitely something that I'm gonna keep around and hopefully it'll last me a long time. Several Christmases, <laughs> if, I, if I have anything to say about it. Oh wow, this one was a nasty one. Well, it happens. And it's mostly my fault, me just like uh, slinging that razor around way more than it ever should have been. It is what it is. Okay, that's the shave for today. Everybody have a Merry Christmas. Oh, one more thing. It is normal for me to uh, take some time off after the Christmas shave. The Christmas shave is always the last one of the year. So there will be a Soap Thing Thoughts episode on January 3rd. Uh, but after that, don't expect to see another video until January 17th. That's normal for the Soap Thing Project. I always take a break uh, from uh, from doing videos uh, from the last uh, week of uh, December through the first couple weeks of, of January. So do not wait up. So that's it. That's the video for today. Questions, comments, put them in the comments section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.